Hey guys, my name's Gianni and I'm here today at Tatty Lashes HQ. We've created a gorgeous Mother's Day glam on my amazing model Amanda. Stay tuned to find out how to achieve this stunning look. First things first, skin prep is the most important. So I like to take a nice moisturizer and I like to do eye makeup first. So first I'm going to go in on the eyes with an eye base and it's really important to prep the eyes with a base so this kind of does two things, it evens out the lid colour but it also makes eyeshadow adhere to the skin and really stick to the eyes. And I'm just going to pop this all over the lid and it, this is the type of product that stops your eyeshadow from creasing as well so great if you feel like you do your makeup and your eyeshadows don't really show, you need to, need to, need to 100% use a base. So, what I'm gonna do, because we're going for ultra glam, smoky, evening eyes, is start off with an eye curl, trace out my shape, and I'm gonna use it to create a little bit of definition, but also I'm gonna blend it out open for me. And then what I'm gonna do is just buff that out. And this creates like the base of our gorgeous glam, You can see now the pencil where it's soft, it's just disappearing into the skin and I can add depth and layers on top of this. You can see now that looks so much softer but we've got definition so what we're going to do is just keep building on that and keep adding depth. And I always, a top tip as well when you're doing a smoky eye, any kind of eye look, it's whatever you've done on this eye, it's always replicated on this eye. It's very important you do the same thing on this eye at the same time. What happens is you can have a really amazing smoky eye on one side and then you can't replicate it on the other side. So I always say to people, whatever you do on this side, do it straight away on the other side and build it up slowly rather than trying to create everything you want in one go. I'm just building up that intensity along the lash line. With my pencil still. So now I'm just going in with some powder, eyeshadow and just blending away. I've just brought that out and because I do the skin next you'll see why in a moment because I like to clean everything up and tidy it up so it does look a bit messy but I'll show you why in a moment so I'm now going to go in we're going to go ahead and open it up down for me also I'm going to apply a shimmer across the lid so the reason I do matte first is that it makes it easier to blend everything and then you can add a shimmer last and I'm just going to keep this on the lid, so just here. I'm not gonna go too high up, and I'm gonna take it halfway in. And I'm just gonna take my brush again, blend that, so it all looks seamless and looks like it transitions. Now I'm gonna go with the fun stuff. I'm gonna get some glitter, and I'm gonna apply by pressing this onto the lid, just to give it that extra oomph. And do a slightly paler, more warm, rose goldy shade. Open for me on the inner corner. Wow, that's really made that pop. So I'm going to go for eyeliner, which is going to completely transform this look and it's going to take it up to that super glamorous Hollywood glamour. First of all, I'm going to tight line. So if you just open and look down towards your hand to me, I'm going to just slightly lift the lash line and go underneath. And I'm going to use black on the top and brown on the bottom and I'll tell you why in a moment. That just completely gives a little bit of definition, but it's like a cheap way of doing liner. Also great when you wear lashes and you don't want to wear a lot of eyeliner, this is a great hack because it gives you that imaginary, really thin, fine lash line. And it really just frames the eye. So now I'm gonna go in along the root of the lash. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna just start from the outside in always with liner. And you naturally kind of wing, like, not wing, naturally move inwards and down. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a brush and smudge that so we get this sultry, smouldering, smoky eye. And take a shadow now and just smudge. I'm taking a dark brown 
so it softens the black. So don't be afraid of wearing black eyeliner. I do love it, it gives you a lot of definition, but some people find it can be severe. Great way to soften it is by just taking a shadow on top, open for me, and just smudging. Look down that way for me. Taking a bit of shadow now, and just smudging it into the root of the lash. I'm going in with brown liner. This just gives you a little bit of definition, but isn't severe. I'm going to go over the waterline. This is why I do skin last and eyes first, because I like to go in, chuck it on, and then blend away. And I take a matte brown whilst I'm blending this, and I just blend that along the lash line. It doesn't have to be neat. You can see this is all really messy. It's all going to come together in a moment. Now I'm going to take some cotton buds with makeup remover already soaked onto them. I've chosen something quite light reflective, medium sheer coverage, a little bit warmer than my model's face because her chest is warmer, so I like to match the foundation to the body. And this is just gonna give it, because we've got quite dramatic eyes, just give her a nice, flawless base, but also match her eye makeup. It's not gonna be too sheer, but it's gonna be flattering on the skin. I'm just going in, chin down, with concealer. Look straight ahead for me. And this is just going to perfect the look. And I haven't finished the underneath of the eyes, so I like to conceal first. And this just kind of perfects the skin even more. And we just put it where we need it because it's a different tone. And then I'm going to go in with, uh, this is a translucent powder. I'm just gonna set it just down the center of the face. Just to take away from the shine, it's kind of going to dull it down a little bit, but I don't want to make it too flat. Just look up for me. And I'm going to set the under eyes with the powder, but I'm not taking any more of my brush. It's nice and light. So I take it down the side of the nose because that tends to get a little bit oily. And then we have the glow on the cheeks and the center of the face is nice and matte. I'd like to finish the underneath eye. After I've done concealer, I just find that it sits a little bit nicer this way. So I just take a shadow and I start off with a matte shadow and if you want a little trick to make your eyes look a little bit more sultry and smoky, start off with a matte shadow to smudge your, look up for me, smudge your liner and then go over it with a shimmer. Scar on the bottom lashes and finish off the skin. So now I'm gonna go on and fill in my model's brows. So a little trick, I want the brows to be quite fluffy and soft because she's naturally got a lovely full brow. I just take off any makeup that's in the brow with just a little bit of makeup remover on a cotton bud. And this helps the brow glue to stick that I'm just about to put on the brows. Just gonna take a brow soap and I'm just going to brush it through my model's brows. A little trick is to brush the brows upwards and in the opposite direction so you really coat every single hair. But now I'm just gonna go in and fill in the eyebrows with a tiny little bit of powder. This will just give it a really soft, flattering shape. I prefer using powder and brows because it's more natural. So now I'm gonna sculpt the face with bronzer and I'm using a mineral-based bronzer. So this hydrates the skin. It's a lot more flattering because it has soft diffusing particles in it. So I'm just gonna use this along, I'd say the underneath of the cheekbone into the middle. So when applying blusher, I always ask my models to smile. I'm using a cream blusher, so it's flattering and soft. And I always just dab it in the apples of the cheeks and then into the cheekbone where I just apply bronzer. And because it's a cream, we wanna apply it with patting motions. So to accentuate and highlight the cheekbone, I'm actually gonna just apply a tiny bit of highlighter to the high points, which would be just here down the nose, and the cupid's bow. I'm going to use TL19 on my model. 
These are gorgeous, they've got a slight wing to them. I'm just gonna measure them on the eye. So first of all, you always wanna measure your lash open for me and see how they look, first of all, looking straight ahead and look down for me. And then I'm going to trim them to fit my model's eye. So I'm going to take my glue. It's really important, you just put this all the way along the spine of the lash. So I'm just gonna pop on a lip liner, first of all, to just create a nice bit of shape close to me. And then I'm gonna go in with a lipstick. It's nice and warm. Just complement the whole look. 